Hello everyone, this is Akash here from Blendeskill.cf and in this video, I'll be sharing with you 5 useful note tricks which you can use in Blender. Now these tricks are surely gonna improve your workflow while using nodes in Blender. Also some of the tricks which I'll be sharing may be known to you, but even then, let's get started. So first things first, why? Why am I creating this video and sharing with you these tricks? But first, let me ask you a question. Do you have node setups like this? If yes, are you wondering how to manage them much more efficiently? Well, then this video is designed for you as it will surely help you speed up the process of playing with the nodes. And even if you don't have such complex node setups, don't worry, this information can be useful to you later on. So let's get started with trick number one. When you are deleting a node, press Ctrl key and X on the keyboard or Command key and X if you are using Mac and not just the X key which you and I generally use. Now the reason behind this is because Ctrl key and X deletes the node while preserving the node links whereas the X key just deletes the node. So let me explain you a bit more properly. Suppose I have this simple node setup right here and I want to get rid of this normal node over here. So what I do, I press the X key on my keyboard and the node is gone. But what happened to my link? I need to again, you know, again relink the uh, texture coordinates and the mapping node and this takes time. What rather I can do is instead of again doing this, I can press Ctrl X. And as you can see, the link is preserved and the node is also just deleted. So this is the trick number one. Let's go in trick number two. You can specify custom names or labels for every node in your scene. Now why specify custom names or labels? Well this later helps you easily control the value of different nodes when your node setup grows and um, yeah it makes it much more easy to identify what value does the node control. And if you are even planning to share your .blend file with other users, it will help the other users also understand your node tree better. So let me show you the example again. So as you can see, I have this mix shader node over here and if I, if I have a bigger node setup, there may be many more mix shader nodes. For now, I want to change this mix shader name over here of this node. Now this thing is called a label. You can change the label by pressing N, opening the properties and in the node section, you're going to find a section called label. By default, it's empty, but you can type in something here. So I can write glossy control and this is much more easily identifiable. So the other user, if he comes and sees my node setup, he'll understand, oh yes, this thing controls the glossy. So this factor controls how much a uh, glossy object is. So this is how you can specify custom labels for your nodes. Let's move to trick number three. You can hide the unused input and output sockets of a node by pressing Ctrl key and H or Command key and H on a Mac. Well, why do this? Well, this provides you with a clear understanding of how the nodes are connected and which values are being affected. And this also removes the unused sockets, input and output sockets, which you don't want the user to fiddle with and it's, it's going to make the node tree much more clearer to understand. Now, one thing to note is this does not mean that uh, you're hiding the nodes. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, so let's take, for example, this glossy BSDF node over here. So as you can see, this node has three inputs, this color input, roughness input, and the normal input. And one output, which is the BSDF output. Now, as you can see, uh, only one of the inputs is being currently used, which is the normal input. Some node is connected to this. And the output is also reserved. Some uh, other node is connected to the output of this node. But these two uh, inputs over here, I don't need it. So if you are planning that, if you are sure that these values are not going to change, you can just hide these input sockets by pressing Ctrl H if you're on Windows. As you can see, those are just hidden now. Now, if you again press Ctrl H, it's going to be visible. Now, uh, what I mean by this is I'm not going to hide this node. If you hide a node by pressing H, as you can see, the input and output are still there, but the node has just uh, become much more smaller. However, I'm pressing Ctrl H and this just hides the uh, unused input and output sockets. Okay, so if I do this with the image texture node, which has two outputs and one of them is not even being used, I can press Ctrl H. As you can see that alpha output is just gone. However, the uh, options in the node as this color space and stuff are still going to remain. So this is trick number three. 
Let's go to trick number 4. You can link most of the notes together by just selecting them and pressing the F key. Now why do all these things? Well, this helps you to quickly connect multiple notes together uh, automatically rather than doing it manually. Let me show you what I mean. So suppose I don't have this glossy node right here, I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to again uh, break the connections over here a bit just to show you what I mean. Let me bring this texture coordinates node here. Okay. And uh, don't worry about all these nodes for now, let's just move them out. Suppose I have this simple uh, node setup here, they are not connected. Now if I want to sit and connect them, I'll connect them like this manually, right? And it's going to take some time. What rather you can do is, just press the B key and do a box select around all the nodes which you want to connect. And then press the F key and you're going to see Blend has automatically connected the nodes. And I guess this, this area was also selected, so let me just deselect that before doing this. Okay, then press the F key and as you can see by default, uh, Blender has automatically connected all the nodes for you. Uh, now this may not work when you have a really a large setup with nodes, however this works with simple node setups like this one which I have right here. It's a really useful trick and it may be useful in some cases. So let's move to trick number 5. You can search for a node in the active node tree by pressing Ctrl key and F on Windows or Command key and F if you're using Mac. Now this helps you to quickly find and edit a node in a very large node setup. So if you have a very large node setup, you can't just sit and uh, find out where your node is. Well, with this feature, you can automatically find out the node. Uh, so as you can see, if I have this node setup, I can press Ctrl F and there'll be a search bar now. Now I can just uh, uh, type in here and search for the node, uh, which I think is there in this node tree. So I can just type in glossy control, which is the a uh, labeled uh, node which I created before and as you can see make sure a glossy control it's this one and it'll automatically get selected now so this is another trick which can help you find out your node when you have large node setups um, so that's the uh, trick number five but since you have stayed so long in this video I want to give you a bonus trick you can relocate a node by holding alt and left click and drag on windows or option key and left click and drag on if you're using a Mac uh, and this also preserves the link between the nodes so uh, why do you want to do this well this helps you when you want to actually uh, change the node links rather than relinking all the nodes you can use this simple trick so let me explain you what I mean so for example in this node setup right here let me add in one more node just to explain what I'm doing okay so I have this mapping node right here and later I figure out that I want this mapping node to be over here before uh, between this normal and the texture coordinate node. So what I do, I would generally just connect the, uh, this and this node link and then move it over here and then again connect it, right? Just to preserve all these values as well. Well, much more simpler way to do this is uh, uh, hold down Alt key and then left click and drag and as you can see Blender has automatically connected the normal and the image texture node and then place the uh, drag node wherever you want. So as you can see the link is preserved and now I have relocated my node. So this is the last trick and the bonus trick uh, if you have stayed so long in this video and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed watching all these tricks and find them useful when you are working with nodes in your future projects. And um, yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.